separate two eggs. Two potatoes diced. All right, tonight I am working on doing a chili in my Dutch oven. So let's get started. had to move it because the wind's coming this direction and it's blowing right into it. Kind of defeats the purpose of the windbreak. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the onions and the ground beef. And then once the coals are done, I can start cooking. To get this thing um, sparked up, um, let it heat up, and get this thing stirring. Very time consuming. All right, let me clean up my mess for the time being. Well, this thing's heating up. All right, let's check out where we're at. Ground beef's done. Onions are done. Let's go get some beans, tomato, and seasoning. All right, one can of diced tomatoes. It's really your choice, seasoning, no seasoning. I usually get ones that have a little bit of seasoning or like a fire roasted. One can, black bean. Really any bean combination will work. Typically, I like using black beans and kidney beans. Sometimes I'll put pinto beans in there. Sometimes I'll do a three bean chili. But for the sake of this video, Kidney beans, black beans, diced tomato. All right, black beans, juice and everything. I never add anything else. Kidney beans, juice and everything. Never add anything else. Tomatoes, unstrained. Now this, I use one tablespoon of cumin, a little over a quarter cup of chili powder, a teaspoon of red crushed chilies and then I kind of flavor it from that point. Catch you in a minute. 